I am Pump Squatch. Hello and welcome to Deep Thoughts, Thought Talk, whatever I'm calling this series with Pump Squatch. Uh, this basically allows me to get my thoughts and opinions on a certain topic out there, and allows me to also hear your thoughts and opinions about a similar topic as well. Uh, today's topic it's going to be Article 13. For those of you who don't know, it will be voted upon in just a few weeks here. So let's all wait with fingers crossed and bated breath as we hope that this Article 13 does not pass because the cost of it is actually pretty great. So that's what this video is going to be about. The cost of Article 13, the real cost if it does go through. Uh, so yeah, for those of you who don't know what it is, there are a thousand videos on the YouTube that can explain it way better than I ever could. So I'm sorry I'm not going to explain it, but I want to try and keep this video as short as possible because I tend to ramble on. So without further ado, I will let you go ahead and do your research on that if you wish, and I will get into why there is such a huge cost behind Article 13 that they are not putting out there directly because it's a serious thing. If you own a material, if you create something, you own it. That's fair enough. If somebody tries to make money off of it or use it to make money, you are entitled to copyright that if you feel like you're not being compensated well enough for it. Fair enough as well to a point. However, if you make it so that somebody cannot make a living because you are going to copyright everything that they put out there, that is just beyond that and dips into the realm of corporate greed. Now that may sound a bit extreme, but let me explain. And what better way to explain than with an interview with the Twitch CEO that is being interviewed by, oh, I hope I can pronounce this right, D-E-X-E-R-T-O, Dexerto? Dexerto? I don't know how to pronounce that, but I'm sorry for butchering it. Anyways, they interview him about this whole Article thir uh, 13 mess and how, it can it, and how it can affect streamers. Not just content creators on, Twi on YouTube, but full-on streamers on Twitch. And they go on to quote him in saying, The system could identify that poster in the background as being copyrighted, but is that poster fair use? If you're walking down the street and music is playing in the background, is that fair use? And he even goes on to say, we would be obliged to take down that stream containing copyright material. That seems completely wrong to us. And it's not just seeming completely wrong to him, it's seeming completely wrong to a whole lot of other people in the world because, well, the only ones who are supporting Article 13 are the people who can make money off of it. If something is fair use, then it can't be copyrighted, right? Well, once this passes, what's fair use anymore? We need to have a definite rule set to let us know, hey, this is fair use, and this is not. This rooster egg is fair use. Anybody could use it in any sort of cop any sort of uh, video or stream that they want. However, this duck egg, if this comes up in any videos or whatever, you will be flagged and your video will be taken down. Yeah, we need to kind of know a better line than that. We kind of need to have a better sort of understanding. Because if we don't, then people are going to be scared to create any sort of material that's even related to that copyrighted material. Even if the material they're using is fair use. If it's related but it's close enough to the copyrighted material, what's... Where's the line? Where is the line that divides that? And that's going to be a video for another, uh, for another video, or that's going to be a topic for another video in the future where the line is. But for now, let's stick to this. So streamers could be affected by this so easily, so easily out of like maybe 10 streamers, let's say about at least eight like to use music in their videos or music in their streams. That could be an exaggerated number, but it's going to feel that way because since they like to use music in their streams, a lot of the times this music is copyrighted. And if this music is copyrighted, it makes it that much easier for a corporation or business to say, yeah, we don't want you using that because that's a way for your customers or your viewers to kind of get free music, and we don't like that. And yeah, it's in the European Union, but while it may not be in the entire world, while the world is separated with oceans and borders and different continents and countries, the internet is a very different story. The internet doesn't know borders, the only border it knows is the computer screen, and that's it. Other than that, the internet can't say, yeah, he's outside of your jurisdiction because, well, he just lives in a different country. No, it's on the internet. It's up for grabs. It could be, su well, susceptible to fair use laws, and it could be susceptible to copyright as well. That's what I'm trying to get to. 
trying to put Article 13 into play, that's like putting a land... It's like putting a bunch of landmines on the ground and telling nobody where they should step in order to avoid them. It's a very dangerous thing to do. It could get anybody in trouble so easily. It stifles creativity because it causes people to be afraid of trying to do anything. It makes them not want to try to do something because if they feel that they might get in uh, serious water, serious hot water for it, then they won't want to even go near it. They're going to want to stay far away as it from... Uh, Sorry about that. <laughs> I can't do words today. I'm very tired. I've tried to stay up all night trying to figure out what to say. But they're going to try and stay away from the topic as much as possible in order to keep themselves from being, well, affected by copyright, being affected by Article 13, because it's a very dangerous thing that can ruin careers. By this point, I don't doubt that there are a few people that are asking why I care so much about this, why I'm so over-exaggerating this, and I will admit, I may be over-exaggerating this to a point, but... My ideas, or my ideals, and my viewpoints on this whole subject have some merit and ground behind them. I myself am a person that's a small-time content creator and does streams on a semi-regular basis. And I'm also in a relationship with somebody that wants a literal bloomin' career with art one day. So, you can tell that I'm definitely not in favor of this because this will make it so much more scary and difficult for anybody who wants to get into these fields to enter them and willingly accept them as part of their lives. It's very difficult to do so already because it's such a saturated market that's already having a lot of issues, but it'll make it even more difficult because people are going to be afraid to even try new things, and we can't have people being afraid to try new things. As we grow up, I honestly do feel like some of the most important things we lose in turning into adult, or turning into adults, is that childlike creativity, that wonder of the world, and that just curiosity that makes us want to drive ourselves forward into the future to strive for new things to make better things for mankind for ourselves even airplanes machines robots cars all these things are capable and have come to be made because we saw something and wanted to try something better we wanted to try a different approach and they ended up bringing about and creating these new and mysterious contraptions, these machines that we come to know modern day as such staples in our society. However, what if they were told, yeah, no, you can't do that because we did it first? What if the first person to make a car said, yeah, nobody else can ever make a car as well because I made it first, so only I can make it, and if you try to make another car, I will sue you for all you got. That's basically what I'm trying to get to here. And I know I'm rambling. I try not to, but I know I'm rambling, so I'm gonna try and finish it up quick. My whole point being, when you make people afraid to try new things, when you make people afraid to wonder and try out new uh, creations, to just try to make new things, then you make it that much more difficult for somebody to want to create. You stifle their creativity. You stifle their ability to want to make something new that could be better. And because of that, we end up limiting ourselves as a species. And I'm pretty sure nobody wants that. But anyways, guys, that's going to be my opinion. And that's going to be my thoughts on the subject. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, then please leave a comment down below. Leave your thoughts and opinions about Article 13. I know I did not transfer all of my thoughts properly as I could to this. But I don't use scripts for these because I can never get them right. But yeah, I hope you guys are doing good. I hope you all... Have some very interesting thoughts, and please, if you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, I would appreciate some comments regarding the subject. Just please make sure you stay respectful of each other's uh, opinions in the matter. Anyways, guys, thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed this video or the content within. If you did, please make sure you never lose that creative spark. Make sure you keep that childlike wonder that keeps you wanting to discover the world. And please keep moving forward for the betterment of both yourself and those around you. Thank you all very much for watching, and as always, I am Pump Squatch, trying to avoid getting copyrighted into oblivion. Goodbye.